Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use lazy loading for modules in Angular. So right now I have two sections in my app. I basically have a section for regular users and then a section for admin only users. And so let me show you what that looks like. So I basically have it divided into two folders, one for admin, one for users. And this one has everything that users can access, login, profile, register, and then the admin one for admin related tasks. And then I have everything displayed in my main app component. So you can see the two rounds here divided like that. And then everything is part of the main module, the app module, right? And then this is what my routing looks like, right? You just have all the routes part of this main declaration here. So basically the idea behind lazy loading is to only load the modules as you need them. So let me give you an example. So right now in my module, right, let's say I'm a regular user and I log in, I don't have any admin privileges, right? I'll never be able to access any of the admin stuff. So even though I can't access any of the admin stuff, I'm still loading all the components from the admin section, right? So manage, settings, admin component. Even though I can never access those components, I'm loading them in um, every time that the user accesses this section. Now this doesn't seem like a big deal here because I don't have that many components, but imagine that the admin section was composed of say 50 components, right? Then things start to really get slow um, and you'll see you'll see an impact on your performance. And so basically the idea be, behind lazy loading is that you, you remove all those components that you don't need and you only load the modules that you need, right? So basically what I'll do is I'll have a module for admin and then I'll have a module for user. And then I only load them as as needed, okay? So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna open a new terminal window in my admin folder, and I'm gonna generate a new module for it. So I can do that with ng generate module, and I'm gonna name it admin module, and I want it in the same folder, so I'll just do dash dash flat. And it's also gonna have its own routing, so I'll do dash dash routing. Okay, and then I'm going to go into the user folder and do the same thing. Generate a module for the user section. And while that's loading, what I'm going to do is go into the app module, my main module, and I'm going to remove everything that belongs in the admin section. So I have the admin component. I'm just going to move everything down here to the bottom. Um, settings and dashboard, that's part of admin. All right, so, and then everything else, with the exception of home. So this is all the user stuff, and then this is all of the um, admin stuff. So I'm going to remove all the admin stuff from here and put it inside of the new admin module I created. And then let me go ahead and fix these imports. Whoops. Okay. And then I'll do the same here. Add this to my user module. All right, so you see that my main module now is less um, crowded, so everything's a little bit um, gonna be faster to load. And so now we need to change this routing because right now this routing just has everything in the same module, right? Which is the, the root module for routing. So we need to divide this. So I'm gonna take everything that's part of admin and basically do the same thing. Go ahead and remove it. I think that's everything. 
And then I'm going to go over to the admin routing I created and add that inside of this array. And then I'm going to get rid of all the user stuff and do the same thing. Okay, so then there's a few other changes that we have to make here. Uh, let me close some of this stuff out. So I'll start off with the admin routing. First, what I'm going to do is these will all be admin routes. So I'm just going to create one parent route, right? And so actually, I can just use this, this one right here. So this one will be, um, it won't have a path. So it'll just be admin. And then this one will have children. So children that'll be an array and then i'll pass all the other ones to to that one okay so basically what that's going to look like is to get to this main route you would basically go to slash admin and then to get to any of the children then you would do you know slash dashboard settings or whatever okay so we make them all the children of this main component here since they're all part of the admin um, section okay and then i'll just do the same thing here and then take all these out okay so these will all be children of the main user route so we can close those out um, so then now in my um, app component, where's my app component? Of course, I have to change all these routes. Okay, so all these user ones will be, will have slash user at the beginning. And all these will have slash admin. Okay. And then finally, we have to go back into the main, um, the main app module routing, the root routing. And actually, before I continue, I'll show you really quick. In these other uh, modules for routing, you'll notice that they say app for child, right? Because basically, this is not going to be for the root of the application, right? So it's going to be for children. Um, routes and you'll see that here in a second so being that it's children um, basically what you'll do is you'll create a new object here a new route object and then you'll name the path I'll name it admin and then you'll say children I'm sorry not children load children and then here you specify the path of the module and so the exact um, relative path here and what i like to do is if you have vs code what you can do is um you can just import that module so i say admin module and then you can copy that path from the uh, import statement and so you just want to paste that in there just like that okay and then after the path you want to pass in hash symbol and then the name of the module, which is admin module. Okay. And then I'll just do that for the um, user route as well. Again, I'm just doing this to quickly get the paths without having to type it all in myself. Okay. And so now how this works is whenever I route to the admin routes, it's going to load the admin module, but not the user module, right? And then when you route to the user module, it loads the user modules. So it basically only loads the modules as you need them rather than loading them all initially when you get into the application. 
Again, if you're just creating small apps with Angular, you're probably not going to notice a difference either way. But with really, really large applications, this is really the, the best way to go is to divide your app into different modules based on the different areas of responsibility so that your app will load faster rather than loading all the modules in at once. Uh, one last thing I forgot is because this um, these components have their own routing, what you actually have to do is add a router outlet inside of here too. So just like I have, and I'll show you in my main app component. Um, so app component has this router outlet for all the main routes, but you also need that for any child routes, right? So I'll do that in admin section and then also do it inside of my user component, right? And you wanna make sure that you do that in whatever component you have that loads the, um, the parent. So this component should have the router outlet so that it can display the children properly. All right, and then now you'll see that all my user routes are working and then all of my admin routes as well. And if you're having issues and it doesn't load the routes properly, you might have to restart your server. Sometimes I run into issues when I work with modules.